Hi friends. So today is Thursday, April 16th, and today we are going to read slides 5 through 7, pages 10 through 15. So let's go ahead and start on page 10. So remember, you're going to have three questions again today to answer. When I get to the question, I'm going to pause and I'm going to let you write your answer on your piece of paper if you'd like to follow along that way. So this is called Growing Tall. A seedling needs air, sunlight, and water to grow. It uses these things to make food in its needles. This process is called photosynthesis. So what is photosynthesis? That's a big word. All that means is how a plant makes its own food. A short-leaf pine seedling becomes a sapling when it is three years old. A sapling has a strong woody trunk and looks like its parent tree. So let's look at this fact box or text box down here. During photosynthesis, pine trees make a gas called oxygen. their are long needles. People and animals need oxygen to live. So let's look at this diagram. So we see the arrows. So the plant, this is this, the um, seedling. It's taking in sunlight and air. And it's also, we can see, taking in water in its roots. And it's letting out and it's giving off oxygen. So what I want you to do is I want you to answer the first question. It says, what can we learn from the diagram on page 11? So go ahead and pause your video if you need to. What do we learn from this diagram? Okay, let's keep going. This, is, this heading is called a mighty pine. A sapling grows taller each year until it becomes a mighty pine tree. When a short leaf pine tree is 20 years old, it will be about 60 feet, 18 meters tall. Most full grown short leaf pine trees reach a height of 100 feet. That's about as tall as a 10 story building. So let's read this text box. It says, in fall, some of the short leaf pine trees needles turn brown and fall off. Other needles need to stay green all win winter. That's why it is called an evergreen tree. In spring, a pine tree grows new needles on the tips of its branches. So I want you to go ahead and answer question number two. It says, how does the illustration on, of the building on page 13 help us better understand pine trees? So how does this illustration of the building help us better understand pine trees? You can go ahead and pause the video if you need to. Okay, let's go ahead and read the last page. Flowers called pine cones. When a short leaf pine tree is 20 years old, it grows special flowers in the spring. The flowers are called pine cones. Some pine cones are male and others are female. New male pine cones are similar, are smaller than female pine cones. The, lo the long, thin male pine cones are yellow or green. New female pine cones are green. The thick scales on the female pine cones later turn brown and hard. The male pine cones also turn brown as time goes on. So as we can see here, here are what the new male pine cones look like. Here are what new female pine cones look like. Here are what mature male pine cones look like. And here are what mature female pine cones look like. So when you go to the park and you find a pine cone, you're actually finding a female pine cone. Let's look at this fact box. It says male short leaf pine cones are about a half to two inches, 1.3 to five centimeters long. Female short leaf pine cones are about one to three and a half inches, two and a half to 9.7 centimeters long. So when I go ahead and I look at this fact box, what was some information that I learned about the fact box? Well, I learned how long the pine cones are. If that fat box wasn't in there, I wouldn't know how long the, the pine cones grow. And it's the difference between the male and female pine cones. So now question number three says, how are the illustrations on page 14 and 15 similar and different? So I want you to compare and contrast. How are they the same and how are they different? Okay, so go ahead and answer number three. Make sure that tomorrow you tune in to read the rest of this story. All right, my friends, have a great day.